Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to compile CompuServe 3D on Windows. I will do follow-up video when I will, uh, where I will teach you how to do it on Linux. It's probably easier on Linux, but uh, some people want to compile it on Windows as well, so uh, let me start with Windows first. Okay, so first thing you have to do, if you are interested in compiling, you go to CompuServe 3D web page. I'm going to open a new uh, browser window. And you navigate to source and binaries, and then you scroll down to developers corner. And then uh, there are uh, Windows instructions, which effectively walk you through all the steps I'm gonna talk about in this video. First thing you have to do, you have to get, uh, you have to download uh, CC3D dependencies. So CompuServe 3D on Windows depends on a bunch of libraries. Uh, VTK, PyQt, um, it needs Swig as well, and probably that's about it. So anyway, um, the dependencies are listed on the website, but you don't have to compile them on Windows. All you have to do is to go to this uh, SourceForge, uh, SourceForge link, uh, where it says Compile Dependencies. Okay, so I'm going to click and go there. And download CC3D Visual Studio 2010 dependencies. It's a zip package. Okay, so I'm gonna download it now. And you have to wait, of course, regular uh, five seconds on SourceForge before the download starts. And so, yes, I file. So it's gonna take eight minutes. Uh, we're not going to wait 8 minutes. I downloaded this package before, so I'm going to show you what's in it, okay? And what you need to copy. Okay, so let me uh, close down this uh, window, and let's go to download uh, my download section, or my download folder. And so this is the package, CC3D Dependencies, uh, Visual Studio 2010. Okay? I open it up, I go in, and then there is a subfolder called dependencies qt underscore uh, 4.8.5 underscore pyqt 4.10.3 and so on. What you want to do, you want to copy the content of this folder, so go into this subfolder, highlight all the uh, subfolders in that subfolder and go into um, disk C and so I'm gonna remove previous uh, dependencies and copy the content of the dependencies underscore QTI underscore 4.8.5 into the uh, subfolder, into the folder called uh, C slash dependencies. You can call it anything you want. I mean, uh, can be called well, whatever you choose. <clears throat> Alright, take some time. So, uh, the good thing is that uh, downloading dependencies takes, let's say, five minutes. Compiling those dependencies, if you were to do it manually from source, would take uh, at least an hour. So you're saving time on Windows by just grabbing the dependencies from the web. Now, next step. Uh, we'll go back to uh, CompuServe 3D website. Source, binaries, DPD. We navigate down to Windows Instructions for Compilation. <clears throat> and now um, you have to uh, get the source code. Okay, So the source code for CompuServe is hosted on GitHub. And this is the address. And this is the command that you would use to download source code. Okay, uh, Or to clone the, uh, our repository into your local one. I'm not going to walk through you through all those steps. There are there are two ways you can use either um, command line, 
which is highlighted here, or you can uh, use graphical user interface uh, that uh, Git provides. So there are many ways. So I assume you you are familiar with Git and you can you you know how to get uh, compiled source code. So <clears throat> once we have dependencies, once we have source code, first thing we do with CompuCell, we open up CMake. If you did not install CMake on your computer, you go to uh, www.cmake.org <clears throat> and, then, and then you just click download. Okay. And you pick a Windows installer and you're done. You have your uh, CMake installer. And you of course have to install it and I assume you know how to do it. So I have it installed on my computer already, so I'm going to open up CMake. So I double click. The first thing I do in CMake is uh, go to the location of the source code. So in my case, the source code for CompuSol 3D is on the D drive. So I go to D drive, CC3D demo, and CompuSol, okay? CC3D Git and CompuSol 3D. This is where my source code is. In the second line, you have to specify where uh, the binaries or all the compilation dependencies will be stored when you compile CompuSol 3D. So I'm going to choose C backslash and CC3D compile demo. Okay, so I'm 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 gonna store all the dependencies in the on, on C drive in directory called cc2d underscore compile underscore demo. After you did this, first thing you do in CMake you just hit configure. Okay, the message pops up. Build directory does not exist. Should I create it? Well, the cc3d compile demo directory does not exist, so we say yes, please create this directory. The next pop-up uh, shows up, and you, here you have to specify the the tool you will use to compile CompuSol 3D. I'm gonna. <clears throat> by the way, the dependencies that you downloaded are for Visual Studio 2010 or Visual Studio 10. So here, from the pop-up, pop-down, uh, pull-down, sorry, uh, at least you choose Visual Studio 10. Okay, don't choose anything else. Well, unless you have your own dependencies compiled with different version of Visual Studio. But I assume we are using all Visual Studio 2010. Okay? Don't mess with all those settings. Use default native compilers. And then say click finish. Okay? <clears throat> Notice uh, the CMake now is doing inspection of your computer. And it is going to uh, yeah, gather all information necessary to build CompuSol 3D, including it searching for uh, dependencies like VTK or or, or Swig, right? <clears throat> it's a little bit slow on Windows, but nothing to worry. Okay, so uh, looks like configuration configuring is done. That's what CMake says. So now uh, we can. In principle, compile, except, except there are a few things that we need to change. <clears throat> so, thing number one, uh, VTK directory. I have VTK directory installed on my computer, and it's installed in such a way that CMake can find it automatically. You might not have VTK directory on your computer. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you how to point CMake into uh, your VTK directory, which you downloaded when you downloaded dependencies. So I'm going to get rid of my path that was identified correctly, uh, but it points to my uh, original installation of VTK, not to the installation of VTK that comes with the dependencies. So I'm going to delete this. So here I'm navigating to C drive, and I navigate to dependencies directory. Because remember, this is where we copied all the dependencies. In the dependencies, I have VTK 5.10.1. I open up this directory. I go to lib subdirectory of the VTK 
Okay. Let me scroll down. And here I have another di directory called vtk-5.10. I click it. Okay. And this is the directory which contains CMake configuration files. Okay. And this is the directory that you should put into CMake, where it says VTK dir. <clears throat> okay, so you put this, you hit enter, it's recorded. Now, <clears throat> for Windows installation to work uh, out of the box and copy all the dependencies uh, where they need to go after compilation is done, you have to point CompuCell 3D, I mean, point CMake. To the directory where you store dependencies. So this directory is simply C underscore dependencies, right? So this is just the top directory for dependencies. Okay? You hit enter. And last thing we want to do for Composel 3D is to, 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 to specification of install prefix. So install prefix, CMake install prefix tells uh, <clears throat> Visual Studio where to install the CompuCell after the compilation is done. So by default, CMake chooses that it will install CompuCell into program files slash CompuCell 3D. Don't do this. Pick different directory. I'm going to pick C slash CC3D underscore demo underscore install. And hit enter. Okay, so we did a bunch of changes. After after we do any change to CMake, we have to configure CMake. So click configure button, and we have some problems here. <clears throat> the problem is related to the fact that I use backslash. In uh, CMake install prefix, so I'm gonna fix it and change it to forward slash. Um, this is uh, and this is uh, the usual uh, <coughs> Windows uh, uh, innovations where they replace um, for where, where instead of actually using uh, forward slash, they use backslash, uh, which collides with many many things, including escape sequences. But this is the reality that you have to navigate through. So the fix was easy. I replaced the backslash with the forward slash and things work. Okay, so I click configure, things are configured in the CMake. Now, after CMake is happy with the configuration step, you generate Visual Studio 10 project. And you do this by clicking generate button. And it takes uh, not so long. Okay, so at this point, we have Visual Studio project generated. Where is this Visual Studio store? Well, you look at the second line of the CMake, which says C forward slash CC3D underscore compile underscore demo. This is where your, where your Visual Studio project is stored. So now, let me open up Visual Studio, Visual Studio 2010, I should say. And first, let me locate this guy. No, it's Visual Studio 2008. Where is my Visual Studio 2010? I swear I have it somewhere. Okay, seems like I cannot find it here, so I will go to my uh, to my uh, list of programs, Visual Studio 2010, and I click here. Okay, in Visual Studio, Visual Studio 2010, we open up a project. We go to File, Open, Project Solution. Okay. We don't open a file, we open a project. Okay. So we go to disk C, we go to CCTD compile demo, and look what's here. Uh, we have CompuCell 3D project. So we open it up. And Visual Studio at this point imports this project. Maybe slow or fast depending on how good your computer is. But uh, but it opens successfully. So first thing we have to do now is to set change build configuration from debug configuration to release uh, 
with debug info configuration. So we go to build in Visual Studio, configuration manager, the dialog pops up, and from the pull down list on the left, where it says debug, you choose you choose either release or release with debug info. Uh, I choose with release with debug info. Okay. Uh, I take some time to. Okay, and now the configuration has been recorded. We just hit close uh, button on this dialog, and now we can begin our compilation. So how how do we compile? Well, we have many. Uh, Solutions or sub solutions, yes. We have many sub projects under Compressor 3D project. And what you want to do, you want to build a project called All Build, capital, capital letters, All underscore Build. So you right click on this project and you click first option, Build. And the actual compilation of Compressor starts now. So you can see there's lots of messages popping up, and the process will take uh, probably. Uh, I have Core i5 laptop, so it will take uh, well, maybe 10 minutes. So I'm gonna stop the video, and we're gonna resume after the compilation is done. Okay.